Okay, go ahead. This is the coat that was worn by Marion Wright. She left England. She was coming to get married to a man who was living here in Cottage Grove. And the coat itself, about two years ago, it was loaned to the Reagan Presidential Library in Simi Valley. And after it came back from there, it was loaned to the National Geographic Museum in Washington, D.C. So it's been traveling around, but now it's back here. Oh, nice. So we have a brand new case for it, a brand new mannequin for it. Nice. And we've got some new um, display boards. And this is the Titanic Museum, correct? Well, this is the... It has, we have other things in here besides the Titanic, but this is part of our special exhibit about the Titanic that does belong to the Kaishiko Historical Museum. This model is on loan from a local individual. This model right here? Yes, it's, it's a local individual. It's a handmade model that he has. He happens to live in a home that was originally built in 1911, the same year the Titanic was built. Oh, wow. And once again, I do have your permission to post this onto the YouTube channel if I so desire. Yes. Okay. I gotta be real careful about that because YouTube and everybody is real personality about copyrights and we all kinds of crap. Uh, right, and that's this is right next door to the other museum in Cottage Grove, Where, Oregon. Uh, actually, we two, well, both are part of the museum. We have to come up with good names. We <laughs> <laughs> used to call this the annex, but because now the, the code is, is you know, one yeah. of our features, yeah. I'm not sure we should call it the annex. I want to watch where I walk because I don't want to put anybody else in it because I don't know how to edit it. I won't even be able to get that part out. <laughs> Excuse by me. a couple of guys here in Cottage Grove. Wow. The That's motor came cool. off of a gas-powered washing machine. And they took, there's a blue board and there's a red board and then there's some pieces of metal and they just took pieces of But they didn't know about safety regulations. <laughs> no, probably not. If you could get your toe right under there. <laughs> I could get you to sidestep That's some imagination. Like. Oh, I've built things like that myself. Could I get you to repeat that about the mower? It's, it was built in 1912 by two local people. One man was an optometrist. And they built it out of various pieces of material and took the motor off of a gas-powered washing machine. So it is a homemade lawnmower, power lawnmower. Do you know anything about this? Uh, this was a buggy that was restored by one of the local um, men in town. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know the year or anything, uh, but I can, I can say that I suspect that the seats were all redone because they're in too good a shape. <laughs> okay. We got some Titanic books and memorabilia. So, don't eat the food. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I need anything. <laughs> the apples are probably whack. I don't know if those 
Excuse me. That almost looks real. <laughs> Is this dress from the Titanic or that era? Um, I'm not sure. It's not from the Titanic. It, it, okay. uh, I haven't seen the documentation that tells me where it's from. Okay. I know the viewers would want to know that if we had that information. Old telephone. <laughs> I know what some of the stuff are. <laughs> that looks like the phone I had when I we had when I was a little girl. What's that? That phone. phone. You can't be it. that old, can you? In fact, if you didn't have a lot of money, you might pick up the phone that people are talking on the line. Yeah, wait till they hung the phone up. Right. Oh wow! Look at this bedspread. Excuse me. And get around you here. Historical, historic maps of the first lots and owners. Oh, geez. Okay. Let's Is that buggy just an old buggy or is it some special significance? Uh, as far as I know, it's just an old buggy that one of our local men uh, did the restoration work and donated it. Churches. Yay. You said like the founders of Sears, the Sears family, those are really the people? Those are the people of the, the Sears that live here. Uh, they have a donation land claim, uh, which is what the original settlers in this area had. It was a law that was passed that went from 1850 to 1855, and it was only the Oregon Territory. Excuse me. It's okay. I don't want to stand here and go through all of these. <laughs> That'll be like a 30-minute video. I think the pictures on the wall here are fascinating mm -hmm. because... You can see where we are. 
old time wheelchair. Right next to an old time coffin. Casket, I'm sorry. And this is 20, about 26. Old time crutches. So if we can zoom in on that. This looks like a nurse outfit. Old time tonics and band aids. That's a really old book now. This is the back of that lady's coat. Margaret, what was her name? Uh, Marion Wright. Marion Wright, my bad. And by the time she moved here, her name was Wilcott because they got married in New York right at, you know, a couple days after she got off the ship. So then Wright was her maiden name? Yes. Excuse me. That's kind of creepy, that crow claw, just as I'm getting this of Titanic. <laughs> That's creepy now. <laughs> Old flag, old U.S. flag. Actually, there were two. Yeah. Science fell down. And they 
studied music abroad. Here's mm -hmm. me. I'm going to try to get that area like it. And then try to get the outside of the place. That's the other museum right next door. This is the walkway. I'm gonna be getting the front there, so if you don't want to be on camera. <laughs> and that's it for the historical museum that's got Titanic stuff in it. This is again in Cottage Grove, Oregon. The other museum is right next door.